Hello everyone, I wanted to make this video a bit more personal, so I'll actually be talking over it. This is a bit of a sensitive subject, so feel free to disagree or even hate, but this is simply my take on it. So take this scenario, you're mid-screen and you're trying to play footsies. You poke with your crouch and medium punch, which can't be cancelled into specials, only V-trigger. In this scenario, you're fishing for 60 damage. No more, no less. This guy, on the other hand, is using another button. Urian's standing hard punch is 12 frames, and you're fishing between 90 to potentially 300 damage, excellent stun, and great corner carry. Yes, these characters are fighting in the same game, so why would I even bother using my crouch and medium punch anyway? I'm risking a lot to just get that 60 damage. 60 damage is the best case scenario here. So let me show you the worst case. There you have it, that's 315 damage, 500 stun, and you're now cornered. What did I do to deserve this? Well, you know, my spacing was a little off, my timing was not the best, I didn't choose the right moment to poke and whatever. No, these are not excuses I'm willing to buy anymore. I'm fighting a character who will simply eat any normal you throw at it. I wish I was exaggerating. Let's get rid of all this imagery and reveal the core of the game. This is what you're fighting against. The risk reward ratio is laughable at best. Why does such a deadly normal have such high priority? Why is it able to beat mids and lows? Why is it virtually risk free when the reward is so high? Why is it minus 2? And more importantly, why is he able to dash forward and hit you with yet another heavy attack? Wouldn't it be enough at plus 6 maximum after a forward dash? This still gives you good damage and placement. But even that's generous. I think he should just be able to combo into his heavy tackle. Nakali's standing hard kick seems to have been designed with some degree of logic at least. His standing hard kick is also 12 frames, but it's minus 4 on block and it's not always punishable due to pushback, which I think makes him safer than he deserves to be. But what I like the most about it is that on whiff, it can be punishable. If ready, you can whiff punish this move, so it definitely isn't risk free but it still carries a lot of priority and will beat a lot of contending normals. As scary as it is, I know at least there's some risk involved when using it. Urien's heavy punch recovery is faster, which makes it that much harder to whiff punish. It's like a severely dumbed down version of special buffering, but with a twist, you don't buffer anything. You only press one button and you're potentially rewarded triple the damage. That's supposedly fun and competitive. So next time you hear that deafening crush counter sound, I want you to ask yourself, is this really a game worth competing seriously in? I thank you for watching.